loves, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Day and if you like videos like this one, please go ahead and subscribe and join the lovely family. And if you have been here, thank you guys so much for coming back to see me. So in today's video, I'm going to just quickly show you guys how I moisturize my hair. Um, I'm coming on now because I didn't record like an intro. I just showed you guys the reality of what I do. It's very minimal. You guys will notice that I have switched up my oils a little bit, um, but I'm going to show you guys what that looks like. Let me know if you use any of these comments below. Um, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel and supporting me and I will see you in my next video bye okay so jumping right in this is what my hair looks like before it needs to be moisturized I'm just gonna take some purified like water I try to use bottled water if I can and just spritz my hair um, because honestly it's not really a point of using oil without using water first um, it's important to know that even at the roots or when you're oiling your scalp that oil is like a sealant for moisture. So even if you're just putting oil on your scalp, um, always just add some water first so that the oil will actually have something to seal in. So I'm just spritzing my hair from the roots to the ends. And then I'm gonna take an extra step and use some organic Bulgarian rose water for my hair. Um, it just helps me personally with moisture. I mainly put that on my roots and around my edges. And I may add just a little bit to the tips of my hair. Um, but I got this from, I think, the vitamin shop. I usually get a really, really big bottle of it and just fill up this small bottle I have right here because it's less expensive when you buy it in bulk. Um, so ever since I started using rose water, it's made a huge difference in my moisture retention, I feel. So that's why I use it daily. I use it for my hair, um, skin, nails, everything. So... I just moisturize um, my hair with the water first and massage that in and any dry parts I go back and just add a little bit more um, and once that is dispersed evenly throughout my hair that's when I go in with my oil so the first oil that I'm using which is new is actually this um, vitamin E oil it's pure vitamin E oil I got it from I think the drugstore maybe like a Walgreens I've had it for a while and I've just now started to use it because um, I've seen, you know, the positive reviews about it. It's a pretty thick oil um, and actually it's pretty expensive for the small little bottle. So I don't use a whole lot of it. Um, I mainly just use it on the roots of my hair. As you can see, um, the parts of my hair that's not really locked yet. That's why I use it on and sometimes I use it on my edges, but mainly just the roots um, because I feel like the thickness of the oil helps retain moisture on those um not locked portions of my hair so i'm just putting that on my fingertips and dispersing that throughout my hair as much as i can without using too much because like i said this stuff is expensive um next i'm gonna take my tried and true jamaican black castor oil in the extra dark um and this stuff i really cannot go without i use it to retwist my hair i use it to um help on the areas that are a little bit thin and mainly on my edges because you guys will notice that the longer your hair gets the more um tension it places on your edges so you really want to make sure that you're caring for them so i put that on my edges and then i take a soft brush and just kind of work the oil into my scalp really like massage um the perimeter of my hair i feel like this really really helps when i do this and then i put on a scarf i feel like the dryness is really not an issue um the next day so i try to make sure i can do this as much as possible just moisturizing my hair and working the product into the perimeter and as you can tell i really didn't use too much of the jamaican black casserole on the actual locks but more so on the edges and like the loose portions of my hair um, then what I'm going to do next is just take one more oil and that is this 100% argon oil and I like to use this oil because it is a lot thinner than the other two oils that I used um, and I'm just going to use that on like the length of my locks just a little bit disperse it throughout my hair I used to use coconut oil and guys I'm kind of taking like a break from coconut oil because I want to see the difference um, that it makes in my hair without it. I, I love coconut oil. I think that it works amazing, but I just want to see if there's any difference um, in my hair using different oils. So I'm just brushing all those oils up. I'm brushing my part. 
um, and mainly just brushing the parts of my hair that's not really locked yet or kind of like unraveled and at this point like my water's in my rose water's in my oils are in and I'm just taking this time to like massage my scalp and like make sure it's dispersed throughout my hair so this is pretty much it this is what I do um, it's definitely like a pick-me-up it helps my hair go from being dry and brittle to like moist and like filled with life so this is what it looks like and that's pretty much all i do um daily if i can let me know your thoughts below and i'll see you in my next video